Hey guys, a two-way find adventure here. I'm going to install some hood struts on the Honda Ridgeline. So let's get to it. Everything shows up in this really nice packing tube with really nice directions. Most, most people who sell this stuff don't go to the trouble of making some good directions. So I was really pleased to see these and they really helped out because they had great pictures. As you can see from step one, there's really only about, I guess, about six to eight parts for this. It's real easy to install. I used a 10 millimeter socket, and I believe it was a 13 to do the uh, larger bolt that goes on the top of the fenders. But other than that, the directions were great, like I said. And, um, you know, who could ask for anything more than some great pictures? <laughs> So, you know, everything was good here. Um, this was a fairly inexpensive mod, and it's real easy to do. Um, you know, now, if you're taking your car in for a timing belt, you know, installation, you know, they might want to put your hood up further, you know, and, like, prop it up so it's out of the way. These won't let that happen, because once you attach them, they are on. Now, the mechanic, if he knows how gas struts work, can still unclip them and still lift your hood up like straight up and down. So it shouldn't be a problem, but I just taken care of the timing belt and all the major maintenance on the ridge line. So they won't be needing to do that for a while. So I'm not gonna have any concern for about another, you know, 100,000 miles. What I'm doing now is getting ready for the installation. I'm getting all the parts out right here. Uh, there's, there's one that goes on each side of the uh, hood, I guess the uh, hinge. And there is one that goes on the top of each of the uh, fenders. And they're real easy, you know, it, these things, they look like they're powder coated. Everything's like high quality here. This company goes, you know, above and beyond to uh, put this kit together. It's Redline Tuning. And this kit fits the, uh, you know, the 2016 to 22 Honda Pilot, the 16 to 21 Passport in the 17 to 23 Ridgeline. So, and it's great. You know, it's it's just a really good quality and it's nice for something to show up with good directions. It's packaged well so nothing gets damaged and all the parts are powder coated and everything is there. Now the first step is to mount these two brackets that it comes with to the to where the hood bolts to the uh, the actual hinge. And it's real easy, you just remove one bolt, you put it on there with the, uh, I guess the uh, the little round ball part where the gas strut attaches, facing to the outside. And you also, since it only has one bolt holding that on, you also want to make sure that it is equal distance and level going back and forth so you know it's straight. You'll be able to tell, but when you tighten up the bolt, things like that tend to move. So you might want to wedge something in there like a screwdriver just to keep it from moving every time you tighten it down. But otherwise, it's real simple if you've done things like this. Anybody could do this mod. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to install the bracket that goes on top of the fender. It's real easy as well. It's a nice powder coated piece. You can see it there. And you basically just, on certain cars, it says it slides between the fenders, like the fender metal that pinches together. And on some, it just bolts on top. On my model and, and year, it just bolts on top. So it was really easy. There was room in there to get a, a wrench. So it really was no problem at all. So I'm gonna take that bracket and that bolt and get it all situated in there so I can tighten it down. It goes in really easy. It's very self-explanatory on this vehicle. On others, you might have to really refer back to the directions a few times, but it's pretty easy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down and, you know, and move to the other side. Okay, now we have both of them tightened down on one side. And I went and double-checked and made sure everything was lined up perfectly and everything was tight and looked good. And this is the way they should look. And now you can attach the gas strut. 
the gas strut just basically pops on. It has a little metal clip on it on each end and basically you just push that on with a little pressure and it will just pop on. Now make sure you have your gas strut, you know, facing the right way. Yeah. Uh, these go, you know, sometimes the thicker end goes at the bottom, whatever. Uh, they show you in the directions exactly how to do that. But it's real easy, just pops on and there you go, that's it. You do, you just gotta, if you watch how I do that, I pushed up on the hood to remove some of the, the weight from it and then it just pops right on. Now to do the other side. And since you've seen how I do one side, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this as well, right to the end. Okay, so now we have the upper mount tightened down. And now we're going to go ahead and do the lower that's on the fender, and that'll be real easy. You can see the hole right there. It's already pre-drilled from Honda, so it's really easy. All you have to do is install the bolt, put the washer and the nut underneath, tighten it down, and you're good to go. Now all we do is install the other gas strut, and we are good to go and ready to use this. Like, like I said, like I said earlier, you know, you just, you just pop it on. You'll see these like the metal ball end, and these at each end have a little socket for that, kind of like your hip socket. And you just pop it in there, and this metal clip holds it. That's already pre-installed. So once you have that, there you go. You got gas struts on your hood. Now the Ridgeline hood is aluminum, so it's pretty lightweight, anyways. But I hate having that that little uh, the little rod holding up your hood the hoods you know whatever you want to call that because you know I'm always cleaning and doing things under the hood and you know removing all those plastic panels that cover the engine you know it's nice to have have that rod out of the way so here you go check this out it's a nice clean install it's a really great mod anyone can do you know, just take your time, like everything else. And it'll be, it'll be something you can, uh, you know, check off your bucket list if you want to. That was easy. It closes easy. It opens easy. It's great. And like I said, that hood rod, that, that rod that holds the hood up is out of the way. So, you know, it worked great. Well, hey guys, I hope you like this video. And as always, I will put links under the video in the description if you're interested in any of the things I've done on this Honda Ridge Honda. If you would, Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment. You know, any comments, any questions you have about this Ridgeline. And uh, I really appreciate that. And I hope you like this video. I've got a lot more mods coming on this, uh, on this Ridgeline. I've done a lot of, you know, videoing and I've got to put them together and make, make some videos for YouTube. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. See ya.